Hello again. What's up, guys? So uh, in this video, I'm gonna actually uh, show you how to configure EVENG and how to add a Kimo uh, virtual machines like Linux, Windows, and so on. Okay. So um, I mean, it's it's a great feature to have an operating system to test and so on in uh, applying uh, or installing Linux in AVENG. So uh, let's do that. As you can see, right here we have the uh, AVENG. So let's visit AVENG using a web browser. So I'm going to open a new web browser right here and then I'm going to type my IP address of the EVE. Okay, it's 20, not 120, it's 20. And AVE, as you can see, the username is admin and then the password is AVE. Uh, next, what we're going to do, we can actually add a new lab right here. We can give it name. So let's name it, uh, let's say test, or let's say CCIE lab. The version one, the author. Okay, that's my name. Description, okay, this is the first lab. Post CCIE lab here. Okay, we don't need to. Uh, you could actually add the tasks and so on. A good idea. And uh, save. So as you can see here, we could actually add networks. We could add nodes. So let's check. And uh, you could add an object here, node. Okay, so what node we want to add? As you can see, the Cisco IOL is highlighted in blue which means we have the ios right there okay so we could select a uh, let's say layer 2 switch right here and number of nodes let's select two nodes right there okay we could go with uh, nvram of 512 or we could keep it okay 1024 and uh, rather we change this one to as you can see if you scroll a little bit down you could find the uh, l3 switch and then save there we go so as you can see we uh, were able to add two devices right here we could change the name edit could change the name here so let's say sw1 save let's name this one as sw2 there we go and then we could add a another node as an object node then scroll down to IOL and then what you want to add we want to add actually two routers check L3 okay layer 3 devices so as you can see we have router 3 and the router 4 we could uh, edit them and so on so as you can see now we could use those links so there we go Ethernet 00, zero V connected to Ethernet 00, zero on the uh, switch and the router. We configure this one as well Ethernet 00, zero Ethernet 00. Zero zero. If we want to add uh, some redundancy to the connection, we could actually use another connection like this. So 0101 zero one zero one here on the side. Then we could add 0101 on the other side. Okay, so as you can see here, uh, we have the uh, two switches, two multi layer or layer three switches, and two uh, routers. You could actually go here and do more action. 
and then you could start all nodes as you can see so the nodes they will be started right now so they're in a blue okay color right now so everything starts and then we could actually either go to the uh, to the command line by clicking on the uh, router or switch so let's give it a couple of seconds we could actually go to the command line also on layer 2 switch so as you can see right there and config terminal you show IP into brief those are the interfaces as you can see we could manipulate the interfaces we could add as more interfaces as we like so in here we could go to uh, networks sorry uh, we could go to um, nodes in here and then as you can see we need to shut them down in order to add and manipulate the interfaces so um, the console that I'm using is telnet ethernet we could change this number of ethernet uh, to two or three or four or whatever okay and so so uh, yeah so we need to shut down the interface the, the the devices in order to add and manipulate the interfaces okay so um, let me check the command line on the router as you can see let me say no here Okay, and I'm in the run right there. We show run. So this is the running config. Okay, and so. So uh, I think we, uh, in this video, I showed you how to uh, create a new lab. Okay, and then how to add the nodes and how to configure the nodes. Okay. Uh, including the picture of the devices and including the uh, connection setup how to connect them and how to launch the uh, iOS uh, command line okay via uh, terminal or telnet okay in Windows you need to download PuDY so you could use PuDY as your uh, terminal window I'm running as you can see Debian Linux so I'm using uh, terminal window or X, uh, I mean uh, terminal mate, okay, to do the configuration, and that's um, that's very handy. So um, I hope this has been informative for you guys, and I would like to thank you. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to add, okay, Linux uh, nodes or Windows nodes to the uh, topology and just stay tuned and see you then